Hey there, welcome to Those With The Days radio video and podcast show with your hosts, Jim and Creasy, your custodians of the Nostalgia Museum. It's question of the day, and the question of the day comes from Dr. Creasy Parker. So, which movie poster mm. freaked you out as a kid? Aha, I see. Okay, well, that's a great question. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is Fright Night. Okay. Yeah. And I only saw that movie maybe two years ago. That was wow. the last, the first time. In fact, it might might be even less. Um, there were a bunch. There was a whole lot of posters that freaked me out oh, as yeah. a kid. Posters slash video cassette covers mm-hmm. at the rental right, store. Right. It would be like you knew that you were never gonna watch them. Your mother is not going to allow you to watch them, <laughs> or perhaps even you are too scared Didn't to even watch, watch, them. watch them. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Horror was always a bit like that for me. Mm-hmm. I deliberately put my horror encyclopedia there. Yeah, this, this is a childhood um, book. It's like a prized possession of mine, and I've spoken to other horror fans, and they all have this book. Okay, it's a legendary book. I am or was uh, what's known as a monster kid. Right. Meaning a kid that was brought up on monsters. In uh, YouTube world, James Ralph is uh, famous, the most famous one I can think of. Mm-hmm. Also, um, actually, Gil- Gilbert Gob- Gottfried and his amazing Colossal po- Podcast. Okay, okay. That's the only reason I listen to him. Right. But he is also a famous monster kid. Uh, John Landis, Rick Baker, mm. and so on and so forth. Joe Dante big fans of the movie monsters okay and any form so i got this as a kid the one thing that my mom always regretted was showing me she she didn't mind me watching horror Mm -hmm. and i can understand that but anyway i digress so um, what i'm trying to say is i was heavily into horror however there were ones that i wouldn't be allowed to watch and i simply didn't want to watch actually right and the to go back to your question there were some illustrations in the 80s and they that's all they were illustrations oh, no yeah. photoshop no just illustrations air, a, an actual airbrush yes yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know um <laughs> kids there used to be this machine called an airbrush yeah. before the airbrush <laughs> and somehow they were they were like hyper real i don't know how you'd exp- they took on a, a life of its own basically um, i mean they're obviously fake because the right. because vampires and ghosts don't exist but mm. somehow they were terrifyingly terrifying. real yeah and fright night was the what that image of fright night with the vampire the, the, go- the, the ghost i didn't even know mm. i didn't even know it was a vampire film mm. until i watched the film i th- yeah. I, d- I just thought oh it's a i don't know exorcism film or it's a ghost film mm. It's very ambiguous, right. the, the image. It's a house, there's a... It's... Ghost-like um, figure. Yeah, uh, a cloud, mm-hmm. moonlit cloud, with a face, mm-hmm. with these... Fangs. With Yeah, and it's a smiling face. And there's something about a smiling face. Cut to the Japanese um, mythological woman with the cut ah, face. I don't like that. That is one of the scariest images. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Images. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of that now with these long fangs is that supposed to be the main vampire or just generic you know what uh, I actually have not seen that film uh, and the reason is because first of all I'm not a really a big fan of vampire films mm. but second and I know it was a vampire film because I, I know about it a bit but secondly I just when I was a kid it freaked me out and you know if, if it's a film that freaked me out as in the 80s so that poster also freaked you it out. freaked me out too mm. it's not one of the top three I would think of mm. but definitely freak, freaked me out now, the thing about those posters were they required you to have some uh, imagination. You know? Right. And so right. what they did, like you said, you didn't know if it was a ghost or a vampire I or I love whatever. this question, by the way. This great, yeah. Great question. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but when you look at that figure, it's like, what is that thing? It could be anything, right? Yeah. Is it a ghost? Is it a vampire? Is it a, is it a beast of What does it kind? allude Monster? to? What does it mean? What, yeah. is, what is this? What is this the yeah. house that's here? Is it a haunted house movie? We don't know. Yeah. So your, your, your imagination is running wild. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's, for a lot of these posters in the 80s that come up, <laughs> they, they did some great, great they work. They did? They did? You don't see this stuff anymore. Nope. And that's, that's nope. really shockingly you don't see things like this anymore. Because they still these artists are still around. They can still make stuff like this. There is an argument to be made 
the I think the eighties is a contender for the best decade for posters. Yes. Yes. The, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying it is. I don't. I wouldn't ah. like to rule it out that it. I wouldn't like to rule the other decades out. But I would kind of agree with you though, because the, the floating heads posters that happened in the early not aughts or what do you want to call it. Oh well, yeah. forget that. You know, and, uh, and you for know, me, even the nineties posters. 90s, I, yeah. Some of them are terrible. Seventies had some good ones though. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Eighties had some great. I actually agree with you. I think I keep coming back to this, and this is this is a different topic, but mm-hmm. I keep coming back to this in my head. My favorite decade is thirties. Thirties, yeah. <laughs> However, the eighties is like this. It's the one I lived through. It's mm-hmm. the one that's that I have personal knowledge of. Yeah. So it's anybody who would met me. I mean, my my boss introduced. We were interviewing this new person, mm-hmm. and my boss introduced me as. This is Mr. James. Uh, he loves the 80s. That was the first thing she wow. said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I funny. thought that was great. Yeah. <laughs> that was so great. It was such an honor. Mm. Um, but, yeah, no, I think the 80s is like more, well, anyway, it's more personal. Yeah, obviously, I, I understand. Obviously. So are you saying that Fright Night is was the scariest poster that you can remember from the 80s? It was just... One of the it's the the very first thing that came to mind when you t- uh, you asked me that question. Mm-hmm. There are others. I'll t- I'll give you some. Yeah, sure. House. Okay. The poster for House. Mm-hmm. Not so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was more allured to that one. I actually told you about this we in a this previous episode, one. I yeah. drew that again and again and again. Mm-hmm. I drew zombie hands or decapitated hands <laughs> with worms popping out of them. Yeah, yeah. I drew. I went. Th- I went through a phase. For a week, non-stop, drawing that in ballpoint pen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so actually, it didn't freak me out, but it. Wa- but I was sort of enticed. I was allured by how how horrific. But there was something about that that pan that's the, tw- that, the doorbell. Yeah, yeah, that's completely horizontal to the lens of the camera. Right. There's something about it. And it's like, not just me, I know you were intrigued by that. I think it's House 2, isn't it, or something? No, no, House 2 is like this, H- isn't it, piece? No, it there is. There might be two. Uh, house house two, two, 2 is like this. Yeah, yeah, that House 1 has. H- house 1. But that, but I've spoken to a lot of people about that. I've mm. seen it on YouTube. It's like a phenomenon. Oh, yeah. A lot of 80s kids. It's, we're just drawn to that. There was yeah. something about, it's like, it just says it all. Yes, but here's something, too. We're at that age, too, where that kind of stuff, like body horror stuff, we think, oh, that's so cool. I remember when I was in elementary school, upper elementary, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, uh, me and a, g- a bunch of guys were always talking about, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and all these like slasher horror films, Sleepaway Camp, things like that, mm. where it's like, oh, that's so cool. It was so cool to see this person die like this way. His head got chopped off. And, all, and we were all into stuff like that as little kids. So, because mm. we were just fascinated with that stuff. Um, so, yeah, I could see why something like that would be. I've got another one, but I think it's your turn to tell me which uh, one. Well, is. okay, um, I'm going to go a little bit away from the horror. Because um, this one... It doesn't even have to be. Oh, no, I know. Horror? Um, yeah. But this one is something I don't even think you thought of. Um, communion. Have you seen the poster for Communion? Uh, you're going to have to remind me. I, okay. I definitely know this film. So but. Communion, is, so if you, guys, if you guys don't know, Communion is a film about alien abduction. Ah, uh, that's... And this movie I haven't seen it actually I know so this movie came out in 1988 I want to say 87 or 88 and in fact the child actor his name is Joel Carlson he is one of my brother's friends actually wow. he went to school with my brother and everything um, but uh, anyway uh, this film was starring it was about a guy named Whitley Stryber Whitley Stryber Stryber what's it Stryber like Stryber something mm. like that uh, played by Christopher Walken <laughs> of course, and, yeah. it was. And actually, his son is the Joel Carlson guy I told you about. Uh, okay. Now, <laughs> the thing about this movie, it freaked me out so much. I remember being in a supermarket of all places and seeing the the novel, <laughs> the cover of the novel uh, that this movie was based off of, and it's the same same freaking uh, picture. Right. It's a, it's a picture of a gray alien, and it's just the head of a gray alien, and the way the alien is looking at you, the eyes, the way it looks at. Uh, the viewer, it's yeah. just like, oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, um, yeah, that'll do it. That that, in, to this day, I cannot watch that movie. To this day, I, I've seen. Have bits you and pieces seen? Of it. Oh, you haven't seen it all the way through. No, I can't. Uh, I can't. I just, it's just, it's just creepy. No, I that's never 
uh, crossed my path, that film. Right, right. There are certain films that are legendary, but have never crossed yeah. crossed one's path. Communion. Like, um, and but it I, is, it's a science fiction film. I, I know, I don't. it has elements of horror, of course. But, um, yeah, it's just it, one of those, like, it's too creepy for me. While talking about creepy, like, alien films, mm -hmm. the poster is not creepy, but the film is famous for this one scene that only lasts for about probably less than four minutes okay but the scene is infamous which movie it's is called it? fire in the sky oh yes you've seen it yes and that that is from 1993 or two i want to say that yeah um, probably it was definitely early 90s yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's uh another alien abduction movie in another and after that i was drawing aliens uh, all week yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was I was old enough at that point, 13, yeah. I would be 13 at yeah, that yeah, point, yeah, yeah. where I was old enough to, to handle it, let's mm -hmm. say. And so, But also, oh my god, didn't see that coming. Because it's kind of like a very, it's a slow burn. Slow burn movie, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. And then all of a sudden, about. yes, it's kind of, it's uh -huh. like, you know, it's like, uh, in a weird way, it's kind of like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's like you, mm. you wade through treacle to get <laughs> to this get point. To the point right. And then suddenly, bam! Yep. It hits you and it's like, good lord. But anyway, another image. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this... I actually don't know the official poster or cover. Mm -hmm. But whenever I would see a photograph of Pinhead from Hellraiser, uh, Hellraiser. Yeah. that was like Satan himself. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like worse. I don't It's like, how can you get worse than the devil? Can I ask you, was Hellraiser huge in the UK? Because I know it's a British film. I don't know if you knew that. The fellas from Liverpool? Clive yeah, Barker yeah. is yeah, from Liverpool. Yeah, Clive Barker, yeah. yeah. Um, it was... I mean, I didn't know that till I became an adult. Um, okay. What, 20 or something? Uh, we didn't know that. Um, it was big, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was big. I guess because the British literature crowd, mm -hmm. you know, the yeah. fan... You know, the fan... Book... What am I trying to say? The British book people crowd would already know of it yeah. existence so it had that going for it right right know? right 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 yeah so it was big yeah okay um i mean big as far as, as big as a horror film can get you mm -hmm. know like mm -hmm. that but it wasn't it wasn't like um it wasn't like aliens level fame but it, but no, of it was not. big in that circle it was, yeah you know yeah, yeah. but it was a, it was such an evil image but then i went i finally got the nerve to watch the film mm -hmm. I'm like okay it's on I want to finally find out what the story is yeah, what yeah. is the actual story mm. what what is a Hellraiser who is Hellraiser yeah, and they've made like eight movies since then or so it but, was yeah. <clears throat> one of the most disappointing cinematic experiences it was it I'm sorry but it's awful I think okay. I, I think it's awful I, apart from that apart from the actual the image is scary. Yeah. I'll give it that. Mm. The image is scary. Yeah. There are scary. Yeah, there are scary things in it. Mm -hmm. But the once you've seen it, mm -hmm. it's like, well, okay, I don't know. But but then when we get into like camera head, you know, when, once you get into like two and three, and there's a character called camera yeah. head. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. It just, it, I, I'll tell you my story about Hellraiser what was your later. With Hellraiser or what was your experience? No, I want I'm genuinely curious. What was your experience watching Hellraiser? Were you were you, were you oh my God. frightened? Well, no, this is a funny funny story because it was actually I, I was at in a youth group at church, <laughs> and and oh, they warned you about it. No, we, they banned it. Was, it. It was the, the, the youth directors at my church were about maybe five, six years older than we were. Mm. Maybe, maybe ten, mm. and um, I was like twelve or thirteen. So they're young, right? Mm. So there's about maybe about ten kids, twelve kids with these two youth directors, and we stayed in the church. We kind of like a fellowship hall, not a fellowship hall. It was like a kind of like a all-purpose room that we stayed in. Yes, and we rented movies to watch. And the mo and ordered pizza, had cookies, all that stuff, right? And the movies that we watched were <laughs> hilariously. Well, one was um, "Can't Buy Me Love." One Fine. was one was "License to Drive." Okay. One Iffy. was one was "The Accused." <laughs> I don't know the accused. With Jodie Foster. She oh yeah. Okay. Which we didn't. I don't think we watched all of it. And the other one was "Hellraiser 2. Hellbound. Because if you're gonna have so, a church party. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course you're gonna rent Hellraiser. So so that was my experience with Hellraiser. It was Hellraiser two Hellbound, and I remember there was a scene. There was a scene where Hellraiser girls two. Being, Hellraiser okay. two. Uh, I haven't seen the first one. And it was Hellraiser oh, two okay. Hellbound, and it was it was a scene where a woman was being impaled by a naked woman was being impaled by 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 pins or something. Yeah. I, I don't. I, that's that's what I remember about it. I so I'll, and I never really was in, interested in Hellraiser, so it's yeah. not my thing. It just. It was so disappointing. It, it really wasn't as like I thought I was gonna be completely freaked out mm. by it. Mm. I thought I was gonna, you know, I really thought I was running a risk right. by watching that film. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. There's one more movie that we watched. It was Summer School. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Go, all right, con continue. No, continue. Okay. But no, like um, when I watched The Thing, Car John Carpenter's The Thing, mm -hmm. as a uh, again as a kid, I watched yeah. it way too early. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was terrifying. Right. And terrified my mum to the extent she threw the cassette across the living room. <laughs> she said, I threw it under the, 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 the dining table. If you want to watch it, it's up to you. Oh, no. It's over. The I don't even want the cassette near me. Yeah, that movie is something else. For a child to watch that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's straight evil. And that is. <laughs> get it. That is. And it's not easy to do. I might yeah, add, yeah. you know, mm. to actually really show evil, to freak out uh, a grown a grown man. Yeah. Um, but again, the thing, the horror in the thing was also alluring. It yes. was also, I also, it was like, I need to watch it. I mm. want to see what happens. Mm. There's other horrors that like you want to switch off. It revolts you. Yeah. Right. It's just grotesque. That's true. But there's things like. The things that have really had a big impact, an American Werewolf in London, mm. the, the the transformation in particular. But the poster was not. The, uh poster yeah. not. No, yeah. we can get. Uh, sorry, I'm going way off the. Oh, no, it's okay. I um, understand. But, but I get you. What you're saying, yeah. But the thing, mm -hmm. um, I would say the ring. Okay. Um, although that was ruined by Mark Kimode for the British audience. I'll get mm. back to you on that, and. What was the other thing I was thinking of? Um, damn, just had it. Oh, well, anyway. As far as posters are concerned, let me think. Go on, have you got one? Uh, well, I have you a go. few, actually. Um, uh, first, I'm going to say, I want to go back to the thing. The thing's poster. When I said something that it, you have to have imagination to think about something, you didn't have any idea what that thing was. What that, it was like a light. It was, a, it was just a silhouette. Kind of just like a guy? Yes, yeah, a silhouette with his arms out and a light behind him. But the light, light kind of emanating kind of from his from face? Him. Right. Yeah. And it's like you had no idea what that was about. Mm. And I remember way back then, I, was, I went to something called the County Fair, and they had these rides, right? And mm. one of the rides actually had the, the uh, picture of the thing. That was it, the, the ride was called the thing, and they used that character <laughs> That's for the ride. Yeah. But I never went on that ride because I was too freaked out. Because I was like, yeah. "What is that? I don't even know what that is." That's such a carny move. Yeah. Oh yeah. They used carny to... move. <laughs> that is such a carny move. They used to. I forgot you reminded me. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me that they used to take whatever was in vogue at the time, at the time <laughs> and then they'd hire some punk ass artist to spray paint. <laughs> The, the phrase so the next time next summer it would come around that'd be gone yeah, yeah and yeah. it'd be Robocop, it'd be Robocop. the next time right? yeah else. yeah yeah that's such but, a carny move <laughs> um I gotta say another one the that, thing another one that freaked me out I didn't watch this movie until I was an adult because it freaked me out was the howling the howling's poster if you, if you yeah. see it it's like the, um, the wolf coming out the wolf well, there's like a scratch down this, like, it looks like um, right. someone's behind a fabric or something. Right, right, so there's two, right? Yeah. So there's that one. The, the, the one I'm talking about is one scratch With coming scratch. down, and then we can see a woman screaming behind it. Right. And, and, that, and was, like, that was scary. That right there was like, oh, no, I'm not watching this movie. That was scary. Then I watched the movie, and it was, you know, it was corny, but it, but it was it was fine for what it was. The, this, the most disturbing part in the film is I'm gonna let you guess. Is it. that when they, she transforms the ballet dancer transforms into the wolf? No. Which which, which for part? me I think the most the the hardest part of that film to watch is act, is actually the beginning, where she goes into the porno oh, theater. Yeah. Okay. okay and you okay. don't see anything. You don't see. Yeah. yeah and yeah. but there's you hear, you hear somebody it. transform. Yeah. Behind her and stuff, and there's a whole. That's a whole kind of worms. That's, that's a different. Yeah. D. Different Wallace. Category. Oh yeah. Uh, got yeah. hired. 
Spielberg saw her in that, was impressed with her performance, mm -hmm. but famously, it wasn't a performance. She no. was she was literally freaked out. Yeah. She was very 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 sensitive. Yeah. She's a fellow HSP. Anyway, yeah. Howling Howling has some great imagery, mm -hmm. like over the years, even like Howling one two three four five. All of the all the posters had something great, great. until the nineties when it was just kind of like, oh, what's what's this? Just a yeah. werewolf head. <laughs> and like a city. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the night. That's nineties. Yeah, that's the bad side of the nineties for you. Um, another one that freaked me out. And it was probably on your list too. Is Poltergeist. Um, which one? The first one. The first one. Um, just seeing the seeing the girl, the girl with the TV, uh, the static, static TV, static TV, in the background. It's, it's just priceless. It's just black screen, black poster mm. with that, and it says they're here. Right. That's it. It's just like, what is? What are you talking about? I can about? get that. It did, that one is not on my list, but I, I can appreciate that. Mm. I can appreciate how that would get under a child's psyche for a PG movie. That's a PG uh, movie, you know. And no, well, we can talk about whether that's appropriate or not. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. That's a great movie, though. I love that movie. I mean, I'm not sure if it was a PG in the UK. It might have been bumped up to a 15. I think. I don't. This makes sense. Yeah. I would have to fact check that. That's a great question. Um, let's take a little. Okay, so we had a little music break there, but uh, Chrissy, I got it. You were talking in the break about um, a scene from. Wow, it really gave you literal goosebumps. No, then. yeah. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> yep. Nope. Not talking about it. Nope. nope. Well, if you want to talk about it, you can. Uh, no, you were telling me. You were telling me about the. You were ruining spoilers. No, I wasn't ruining anything. Uh, <laughs> according to you, uh, a scene in communion where there's an alien in the. Oh closet yes no nope. a guy just looks around and sees it no it's no nope. just the just the it like the concept of it is scary um so two questions have you i've never seen it but it's a huge film with millennials have you ever seen signs yes i have were you freaked out by that's that, that famous particular scene, scene that everybody freaks out yes yeah. i was yeah i had a i've not bothered to see it because it's, you, it's you, i've you, seen that reviewed so many times you know how something freaks you out so much that you feel like cold cold you clammy get bumps you get that yeah. like, weird jolt yeah. in your system that's how i felt when i first saw unnerved it. unnerved i was yeah. not expecting to see what i saw yeah and i don't want to say I'm, you've, I'm sure you've heard of it yeah we don't need to spoil it have, you, have, you, have you seen that scene oh many times the, yeah, i've no. seen the scene many times the thing is it it's crops it comes, up so many times yeah it comes at a point where you're not really you're just not expecting it. Mm. It's very similar to Jaws, and that's another another poster uh, that kind of. I think I know which at the beginning, the floating something. Yeah, well, kind of like you never see the shark, mm. and you never really see the shark until the end of the movie. So it's very similar. Signs use that same trope. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah. you don't okay. really expect. It's all creepy. It's building the tension and all this, and all of a sudden you see it, and it's just like the reaction that Joaquin Phoenix has after that mm. it's the same reaction that everybody has mm. when they see that so yeah especially if you haven't seen it before what was the other thing that reminded me of ah oh, yeah so one of the scariest freaky unnerving moments in cinema history that I've seen mm -hmm. and I haven't seen all of them uh, have you ever seen David Lynch's fire walk with me no I have not Okay. Don't don't, the, don't ruin it. You're not really a David Lynch guy. Uh, no, I, I okay. I like Dune. I like David Lynch's Dune. Actually. Okay. A lot of people don't, but I like it. Um, Twin Peaks is good. I haven't, I, but I'm not. I've only seen it once, and I haven't really. I wasn't paying attention we, to it yeah, much. Yeah, that, but that's like. I do want to watch it again. I do want to talk about that with you. Maybe we'll. Save I do. It. I, I want to see it again to in the honest. next episode. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just say for the for the viewers who have or have not. That, what you described to me. So David Lynch is the master of scaring you without horror. Mm -hmm. Okay. As simple as that. Yeah. And you might think, well, I don't get that. Well, believe me, there are many ways to be scared oh, yeah. in life. 
yeah. without without vampires and ghosts and, oh, yeah. and Freddy Kruegers, right? David Lynch is a genius when it comes to scaring, to getting under your skin, and it'll live with you mm. forever. Okay. And he's the master of it. It's just the most simple thing. If you if you wrote it down on paper, you'd think, well, that's not very. What he eats a joke. Right. Like, right, like right. throw it away. But there's a scene in Fire Twin Peaks film okay. Fire Walk with yeah, Me yeah. that. You just never get out of your okay. head. All yeah. right, okay. Yeah. All and right. I'll leave it at that. And sure. the, the the fellow Lynchians will be like, "Yep," yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and everyone else will be like, "Okay." Um, but if if you like to be scared with movies, I would recommend David Lynch films. Don't worry about. I've got to find the meaning. Forget the meaning. Just no, don't leave. Me, from what I understand about David Lynch, uh, meaning doesn't really matter. Just really doesn't really it, matter. In in all all surrealist. Hmm. pieces of art the worst thing you can do is to get upset that you don't understand yeah. the meaning don't worry about yourself about the meaning when you wake up from a dream hmm. some of your best or wildest dreams you probably don't know the meaning exactly the, my, the my most memorable dreams i don't really know the true. meanings true, true, the true. meanings of them uh don't worry about them just enjoy them for what they are mm -hmm. um david lynch that's what I think. That's what separates him from other pretentious people who try to make surreal films. I understand. Is, is that he makes genuine dreams? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So. Um. I, I took a major detour. No, no. I, I want to say there's two more. Uh, two more that stand out to me in terms of. Uh, yeah, I want to hear them. Posters are Alien from 1979. Okay. And also, uh, I I did mention in Jaws. Um, because seeing the shark with his mouth open and those those protruding sharp teeth and is, seeing that woman is that the poster the original uh, the original Jaws, poster with a, there's a uh, so the there's a woman swimming on the top of the water she's on a floating uh, no she, I think she's just swimming swimming okay and on the bottom below the water is a shark coming up to eat her coming up and his mouth his mouth is wide open this with all the, all the layered teeth layered teeth yeah and that freaked me out as a kid it actually fascinated me a lot too so i used to draw sharks all the time nice that way um with a you know coming out of the water but also a person you know i used to do it all the time nice. half person eaten <laughs> yeah i never went to um, the shark face myself yeah but, uh, yeah I that's did. cool but the alien one i saw it again in a supermarket so the first time yeah cool. just 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 specify which alien first, image the first movie no no i know but Wh the, oh, because there's, a, there's, var there's variant there's variant the covers. the one with the egg the egg uh, the egg the egg okay um just the egg and it's black black background black background it's just an egg highlights the egg highlights blocky yes. text yeah. okay yeah and one more the fly ah <laughs> when Jeff not Jeff Golden but it's just a fly leg coming out of uh, a pod or something like it's oh yeah that one that one freaked me out too nice yeah those yeah. are the ones the other yeah. ones I can think okay. of okay right yeah that, that, yeah they that's, that's interesting mm. how different images affect different people right right I can get uh, they didn't freak me out but um, I'm sure I've got some that you might be surprised with we need to take another yeah okay Well, I was truly, Creasy, I have to commend you on this question. It's a very uh, meaty question, and I love it. And I actually need more time, so can we continue this in part two? Yes, let's do that. All right, so we'll leave it here for part one. We'll see you soon here. This has been our conversation, and those were the days.